Hello people of the internet! Welcome, I am Cake Dude, and today I come to you not a sick man, not a sick man anymore. I wanted to record this during my break because I had a lot of time to record, but unfortunately I came down with a case of tonsillitis, so I could not record as well as I wanted to, and it became very, very apparent when I couldn't speak for a day that, uh, yeah, I needed to, I needed, I needed something very, very serious. Now before I begin, before I continue, um, I tweeted about this, but I'd rather just show you guys now. Um, I did level up a lot of people. My goal for this episode is to get blue eyes up to level 20. Even though I know for a fact I can get through the gym, um, just on uh, the just on the just on flame butt alone. But I just I feel like we should just go for it. I also need to look at his stats because I have not seen his stats yet. Also, yeah, I think I had somebody, uh, uh, Mr. C guy. The fabulous Mr. C guy evolved off screen. I did a, I did tweet about that. If you don't follow me, follow me on Twitter. It's in the description. Um, and I, I give uh, updates and I do random stuff there. I just you know I have a bunch of stuff. Just follow it and I'll keep you up to date. But as far as this goes, I'm right now. Well, all I'm trying to do is get blue eyes up to par. That's basically it. And uh, it's really just gonna be one Pokemon getting up to level 20. It's not that hard. It doesn't take a long time. It's not like I'm having to send him to the ancient send towers of, you know, you know, whatever, you know, and having him to do, do other stuff. I hate having to fight these things because they always attack first. This tackles a slow move. Come on, girl. Come on, blue eye girl. Hey, it's a blue eyes and it's a girl. Check that out. Okay. Hey, he's a little. He's way faster than I am. Zubat is way faster than I am. I remember, I remember when I used to think that that one could, yeah, that you, you're not gonna, that's, you, you can't do it. Bam, there you go. It's, it's amazing how sometimes I look at this and I'm like, uh, dude, you're not gonna, you're not gonna win. So by the way, that's how I've been grinding lately. Um, it, I realized, like, probably it's due to the, me using something else rather than the original game. Um, but I realized really early on that you could just, like, if you get it right, you can just spin the spin the uh, spin the control stick, and it and it goes like crazy. Oh no, my accuracy fell. This is where it gets crazy because I will say, Blue Eyes is extremely inaccurate. Um, it, he doesn't. He's not good for that. He will miss like even if the like his miss rate is crazy. And he will miss more percentage of the time than the, than the like he was like he hits 75 percent of the time, and then the then the move you have is 50 percent. So you have literally a 25 percent chance of hitting. It's crazy. So let's go. Let's get about this guy. Yeah, basically what I'm doing right now is just trying to. Oh look, he flinched and it causes flinching. So I'm gonna go hit about again. Flinch again. Flinch again. Bam. It's crazy because I want this one to get the one move that I need. It's gonna cause it's gonna cost me a little bit of time. But uh, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Just spin the spin the control stick, and eventually you'll get it. There you go. For some reason, all those count as a step. So when you are when you're outside the uh, um, the the Pokemon daycare, you don't have to. Oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna harden. There's no point in me even trying. Yeah, there you go. See? You feel that? He's way faster than I am, and I, there's no point in me doing that. So, uh, yeah. Just do this. Next to this guy, just spin around in circles, and apparently it counts as a, as a step. He's one of those. You teleport it right here? You gotta teleport it anywhere else, but you teleport it right in front of me. Alright. Doesn't even let me use it. Alright. Spin, spin, you, spin, me, spin. Come on, my nose is itchy. I just don't want to scratch it. Okay, come on. Oh, it's a Makuhita. I'm no longer an Abra. Bam. Oh, baby. Let's get this. Let's get. Let's get through this, girl. Come on, blue eyes. Let's get through this. Bam. Yeah, him good. I just need you to learn. I, I know you. I think you learned a different move, like around 16 or 17. Um, it's because the move set needs to change at some point, and, uh, and it's always changing like that. It always changes that way. So yeah, like I said before, I was I was talking about how you can 
That's how I cheated, technically. Yeah, I don't think it's cheating. You literally just spin in circles anywhere and it'll work. Nope, it. Okay, I'm gonna say, it, please miss. That sucks if I have to do that. The Zubat's slower than I am. Bam, I should. Yeah. Level 13. Metal Claw. This is the one that is great, but it sucks. It's good and bad. Okay, so it's 50% power. And you wanna. You basically wanna change that one out. Tackle. You go from Headbutt to you change out Tackle. So I'm gonna take Metal Claw. Put it right there. One, two, and poof. Forgot tackle and learned metal claw. This is the one typed move that will help us out in this in this little part here. Because now I can take out most of these um, guys in like one hit. Metal claw 100% beats a fighting type. I don't know if you've ever brought a knife to a, a fight. Bam. Nice. And it increases my attack. So every single time, every successive time, it'll increase my attack. Every single time. Bam. And it gets stronger and stronger every time. It, it's like a negating effect to the uh, other move that um, pe that decreases your defense. No, no, no. It was, there was one that I remember that. Um, it's a move that I, I don't... It, it doesn't even belong to uh, the N.A. Ron. It belongs to a different Pokemon. But uh, essentially what happens is that you get it... Oh, man. I really want... I think, I think with two more levels... We start one hitting everybody. I think with two more levels. Okay, so yeah, yeah, Metal Claw is good, dude. I like it because it's a, there's a lot of uh, Pokemon power on it. There's not there's not a lot of uh, say sometimes when you have no Pokemon power. Yeah, yeah. If you go to, if you go next to the uh, Pokemon Center or Pokemon Daycare. You just start flinging around in circles. It counts as a step. So all you do is spin around in circles for about 10 minutes, if you need to. And there's an egg that hatches. That's how that works. I've, I've hatched multiple eggs that way. Because it's easier, literally easier, to spin in circles than be on your bike. Bam. Ugh, my voice went crazy. Right now, literally, it's like, I need to find a move that replaces the other one now. But I don't think he find, gets a move that replaces the other one. This one doesn't have a lot of, of things like that. Yeah, but now he misses more. Um, he, he, like I said, he he goes, he's like barely on the point where it's a passable move set. There you go. I need to actually look at his stats because I know for a fact that the Pokemon itself has like a like you can it'll hit this many like this percentage amount of times and it's crazy. Just like a standard move that you you have no for a fact it hits sometimes it doesn't hit. Like I remember one time, I, like I'm pretty sure that like everyone knows that Supersonic is a, is a, apparently a 100% hit, or there's like a a confusion one that it's a 100% hit, and it would miss. And I was like, wait, but it, it says it's a 100% hit. Dang it, Leech Life, it's not gonna do anything to me. Stop doing it. It's wasting the turn. Take me down, take me down one peg, take me down one peg. It's a missed again. That's Supersonic. Supersonic never is 100% hit. I think it's like, I want to say it's 75? The shirt has missed a lot more than 75% of the time. So yeah, like just do this or outside of a, 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 po a Pokemon Daycare and you'll get an egg. Just spin around in circles. Is that what you're supposed to do with He's not what you're supposed to do with an egg? But they, they, this game is code, doesn't care. You keep, like, you're doing pirouettes outside and each time you do like half a quarter rotation, it counts as a step. Are you kidding me? It, 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 it's amazing. I like it. This guy's taking me down a peg every single time. Just one. He's taking me down. Him and his friends need to stop doing that. I need to. I need to alternate my moves too, because if I just start using Metal Claw, I'm gonna. I'm gonna end up running out of moves. Okay. So yeah, I'll be back when uh. This thing decides to give me more stuff. Okay, Zubat, you should be the one that gives me the level. Come on. Okay, so here it is. I'm close to leveling. I'm not sure I leveled more off off camera, but I'm scared of. Oh, gosh, darn it! And the time I introduce myself back in, it does this. The guy is confused, and I know for a fact that I do more damage to myself than it does you. Oh, it doesn't even affect him. It doesn't even hit him in the sky. 
I can't throw mud at a bird or a bat. What was a critical? Jesus. You need to work on you need to work on how you throw that. It's gonna hit me now. It's gonna hit myself. I'm gonna hit myself now. That's how that works. Oh, never mind. The pop the the uh, temporary status effect does not work when it's like that. Okay. There we go. That's a level. All right. That was one more level. It only took me like two minutes, really. Um, time to keep. Let's keep grinding. It's another one of those situations that I have to keep talking because I know for a fact that if I don't keep talking, we're not gonna do anything. You know what I could do? I could probably. I should probably just like get the stuff that I need because I know for a fact that once I get it, I can power level him. Because once you get like experience share, you're good, right? But I, I just don't want to do it that way. For whatever reason, I feel like I'm cheating when I do it that way. It's also going to grind to a halt with this Aeron, unless I have higher level Pokemon. It really is. Like, he, it's getting really dicey. And he's the one I use for this, for like, it, like my secondary main for this gym, unless we have some kind of thing happen. Um, because Metal Claw is a, like a, it's a good move. It's a good move. I forget what type of move it is. It should like it, I don't think it's like they don't think they think they I don't think they have steel in this just quite yet. I don't oh, come on. That's of course another sand attack. Either now I either have to run or just hope that he lands with a Yeah, he he's gonna keep missing. Nope, nope, it's not gonna be effective and you're gonna knock me down one peg every single time. No, okay, I got it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. So, should I should I just challenge the gym? I feel like I should just challenge the gym, and that's the way we'll end the episode. Because I know for a fact they don't let you just waltz through the gym. You have to find everybody. All right, let's go ahead and um, I guess we'll just no claw this guy. Injury, clone, down. That was a critical. That was a single. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah. You know what? You know what, guys? I am tired of grinding. I know we. I know for a fact I said my goal is to get him to level 20. Get him to level 14. Um, but I will say I think we're good on levels. Um, I kind of want to just get the item I need to get because he's any any type of way, way I get it, I probably can get another guy. Any of these guys will do. I'm definitely way over leveled at this point because this guy is literally base level for this dun for this dungeon for this gym. I'm gonna go ahead and save it though, just in case we're not good. Alright, let's save, be safe, and uh, have a good have a good trip. Now, let's, let's, go, let's, go get, let's go get this dungeon down. Also, make sure we have all of our moves. You know, it would be really crappy if I just showed up to a gym and all, I could, all my Pokemon could do was struggle. That would be really sad. I don't want my Pokemon to struggle. Oh, that's right, I already beat one. Okay, so. If I'm not mistaken, there was one over here, and I go, there we go. Oh, that should brush me off, it's not my fault. Now, if you remember, I did fight this one before. Now, I turned off the game and I forgot to save, that's my fault, but it gives me a chance to show you what I mean by literally I am way overpowered for this for this uh, gym. There. They use the tech because it's way faster than, I, faster than me, but you know what's good against uh, against this stuff? Tech. Super effective. Let it take. It's gonna get some of its health back. Either that or, yeah, or it's attack grows. And burn it. Oh, it protects itself against Ember. Yeah, it doesn't happen twice. Alright, cool. Now, what I should do is I should, be, I should probably front load. Front load uh, Aaron. Just, just, just to make sure that we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Front load Aeron, uh, switch, and just to make sure that if we do beat somebody, he gets some kind of experience. Uh, nope. Nope. I know for a fact if I just go to a corner, there you go. Come on. Yeah, and this and it's weird because this one is not fighting type. It's not. It's not a fighting type. At least I don't think it is. Ooh, should I just keep this one here? Because I know for a fact it's a, the it's the weakness it's the weakness. I could get low I can get low punched and it'll kill me. Our defense is lowered. 
But come on. Come on, Metal Claw, do your trick. Again. Oh, that killed me. <laughs> oh, that was... Uh, I knew that was coming. I felt it coming. Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> let's send out somebody who can withstand, withstand that. Um, yeah, that... I was trying too hard, and it didn't work. So let's double kick him, because fighting type moves work good against fighting type moves. I really wish he didn't die. I knew for a fact I told you I was going to front load him. But I'm pretty sure that I just messed up. I want to go ahead and heal him. I'll be right back. Should I have possibly bought a potion? Okay, so now we're going to actually front load. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this is not another fighting type. If it's just another one of those... Okay, I can beat this one with... Uh, with uh, blue eyes. Oh no! That's gonna suck. Okay, so uh, yeah. He used bite before I could even do anything. All I'm gonna do is uh, harden because, like I said before, it's, uh, it's not gonna be a lot. It's not gonna be a lot. Man! I knew I should have done. I should have done. Open up with that one. Raises an attack. It doesn't really work. I don't understand how bide works exactly. There we go. So this guy's gonna get a lot of experience here. 234 should oh almost level him. But chop. Yes. Well, no. I'm gonna front load. I'm gonna front load. Uh, now we switch to this guy. Hopefully we we don't mess it up. I didn't just get I just didn't descend the Yep, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, that's gonna hurt so much. Ooh. It sucks for you. Bam! Hit two times. He fainted and blue eyes gained a level. He gained a level. Um Yes, I will actually. Change back to blue eyes. Shift. What I'll do is I'll typically because this is the weakness, they'll use Bide to try to win. Oh my god. So close to leveling. Please don't die. Oh, good. Oh, good. Hoorah. He's faster than I am, so I can't predict his next attack. So I had to go defensive automatically. It's just harder. Okay, come on, come on. If I can just... Dang it! He did the bite. Okay. So we're gonna have to switch out here real quick. Well, you know, he takes up a turn, right? If I can kill him in this one, I'm fine. No, I have to I have to, I have to get out of here. Pokemon, let's sentence Woosh to a death here. It's not fair, but hey, what can you do? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get blue eyes back out of there. If this one only has three moves, I'm fine. Metal Claw. And now you can't do anything as I chop you in half. Cool. Okay, so it front loaded and I'm and I was good. It grew to 15. Gave me one more health than I had before. Cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna go refill it because th this one is clearly at the level where it kind of needs to be. Alright, let's go back down. Let's go and heal up blue eyes. So I did, took care of the three. There's only three in this one. And should I front load? I don't think so. Hopefully I can I can front load and I don't have to be ab abided by it. But I know for a fact that if I front load I might lose. But I'm going to front load. So that way I uh let's just let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it so we can end the episode. And be good. Be good. Alright. I'm Brawly, dude for this gym leader. I've been churned in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough. Um in the pitch black cave. So you wanna challenge me? Let's see what you're made of. Sweet. Another gym battle. This is I think this is the third second one. This is the second one, actually. Um the chop. Okay, so this is the one where you don't need this, so we're gonna have to front load. 
which I hate having to f having to front load. 17? That's not bad. I'm really overpowered for this one. Karate chop, but that's gonna hurt. Oh, it's a critical? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, snap. I didn't understand that it was a critical. Ooh, you wasted a turn. You wasted the you wasted a turn. I'm sorry. You totally wasted a turn. I'm a faster than you. Why did you bulk up? You weren't gonna win. I know exactly why you did it, but I mean, hey, yeah, yeah, don't do it that in that order. Okay. Uh, Makuhita. Yes, I have to. I have to front load blue eyes every single time. Now, if I'm mistaken, Makuhita could do nothing to this guy, if unless he has low punch, and then in which case I'm done for. Metal claw, arm thrust. He killed me. No, he didn't. Oh, he did. He did. That's a three or four arm move. Good. Good thing I used it on him. I wanted to front. I wanted to attack. I had. I wanted to attack. So yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, experience share that guy. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and like this double pip, double kick, which is a fighting move, which should do a decent amount of damage, considering. Arm thrust. Oh, you also did the wrong move. Why do both of these guys have bulk up? I'm guessing that's the special move I'm gonna get here. Uh, double double kick. Now uh, you, you're gonna let him get kicked down. Stop using the. Stop doing that. You're dumb. But yeah, now I'm doing less damage because of his bulk up. I'm trying to pick. Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, it's accuracy though. But they're pretty accurate. Up, oh, up. Oh, that's that's gonna hurt. Ooh, ooh, that hurts so much. Mm. Oh, three times, huh? You did that much in three turns. There you go. Super effective. Sand attack. Not not by much. Not by much. I'm going to make sure there is no yes. Super po super potions are the dumbest thing. Because he can use up to three. He's gonna use arm thrust again. Peck. What how does it okay yeah, he did that. Now oh, another, another another ten. Mm. Oh what what? Am I really wow? I really died. I'm going to either white out or make a good choice here. I'm definitely overpowered, and this guy's gonna gain. Get this uh, guy is gonna gain a move. Uh, let's go ahead and use confusion. I've never ever seen that happen before. It's super effective, but Jesus! <laughs> wow, he gained a lot of experience. Yeah, I know. Here, to check the gym badge. Now I can use uh, other stuff. Thank Lord for the vacancy of that. Okay. Well, receive the knuckle badge from Brawly. Because he's a brawler. Uh, the knuckle badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you get in trades, obey you without question. And you'll be able to use the HM move Flash outside of battle. If you'd like to use this technical machine, too. TM08, which is nothing. It's a nothing move. It's literally bulk up, and you can you and I believe, um, yeah, that's, I th that's what I thought it was. It's not great. Uh, you can see your talent become a giant, wave of storm astonishment among trainers one day. No, I didn't read that right, but who cares? I'm gonna go back outside, heal my Pokemon up, save, and we are gonna call it an episode. Alrighty then. Um, we are now another gym badge into this game. Let me show you. Yeah, this is the second one. That's what I thought was going to happen. Well, that's the second gym badge. Now that I've done basically everything I can do on this island, we're going to go on and do what we need to do to get experience share. Now, I don't exactly remember the order of things I need to do, but I know for a fact I go to the next port and find a bunch of things that don't connect to anything this, for this one side quest. I literally have to deliver one thing and then I'm able to go back to the previous town to get one thing. Okay, so with that being said, um, <laughs> if you guys like what you see, love me and I'll love you back. And I will see you guys next time.